Everybody wants love, and the moment that you think you found the one, you feel so secure. But then something happens, and everything comes crashing down. My name is Yinka Laderon, and on this special episode of Real Talk, we're here at Sabor Restaurant, and I've got two special guests with me because they are sure to keep it real. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? I know. Good, good. I see look you. Look at you. Green. Oh, oh. Yeah, I count with you. How are you, you doing? Good. Thank you. Yeah, you look gorgeous. As Thank always. you. Thank you. So Kim, you're dapper. killing. You're killing them with the green. I'm loving it. Absolutely killing it. loving it. I'm Thank green you. with envy. Ooh. Okay. I <laughs> nice love one, it. Nice one. Nice one. So okay, good. guys. Today I really wanted to kind of. Um, to get your advice or your opinion on something. Okay. Now this has nothing to do with me okay. per se, but it is real talk and I really wanted to get real opinions on this. Now everybody loves love. Everybody loves a good love story. Mm -hmm. You know, guy meets girl, guy falls to girl, vice versa, and everything looks beautiful and they're skipping in the rain, holding hands. But then there's that moment when yeah. it's like, I don't want it. I'm not interested in this anymore. How do you know that the end is near when it comes to a relationship? Mm. You should go first. You're yeah, the guy. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what was that about me being the guy and I should go first? Because I feel like the guy is the one that usually pulls back first. I feel like he's the one that usually shows signs that something is wrong. That's my opinion. It's funny you say that because I had a conversation with someone just yesterday and she was saying, oh yeah, it's, it's always the guy. The guy always calls Very it off. Cool. Yeah. So I guess if we're if we agree and I'm not agreeing, I'm just saying uh -huh. if just for the sake of conversation we mm -hmm. say that the guy always tends to initiate or at least more often than not, then I guess perhaps you have to watch the guy. Exactly. If you're looking for when it's almost over, watch for changes. Exactly. If the relationship begins to change, the conversations begin to change, very little attention, um, mm -hmm. not picking up the calls as many times as before no longer calling as many times as before, before yeah. perhaps becoming super irritable, then you probably know that there's an issue and that issue could be very Another well girl. <gasps> oh. Hey, I didn't say that, but hey. Why? Idiot, why do you say that? Why do you, so you think Honestly, guys typically leave because there's somebody else? I think most of the time, right? Mm -hmm. I think um, a guy sees a woman that he likes, right? and he's very committed to calling you every day at a certain time, mm -hmm. letting you know that you're the one that his attention is on, right? right? Now, if at those certain times, you're no longer getting the phone call, you're talking to him, like you had mentioned, he's not paying attention anymore, but he's not talking to you the way he used to talk to you, but you can see that he's online. He's talking to somebody. Uh, well, maybe he's like, you know how sometimes you're online, but you're not online. Like... At 2 a.m. in the morning, you're talking to someone else. Maybe your phone was just left on WhatsApp. Sips lemon. You know, I, don't think it, I don't think it matters so much um, whether there is another woman or, or not. not. The I point is those it's, are, it's mm -hmm. nearing the end. Those are, those are just details that aren't that necessary for you anyway. Because ultimately, if it's nearing the end or if it's at the end, it is the end. Yeah. It's also important to realize sometimes that the end was at the beginning. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> what I mean is, it's important for women um, a lot of times to realize that there are a lot of guys out there who, for the mm -hmm. most part, are in it for the thrill. Mm -hmm. um, they've decided from the very beginning that what it's box not gonna go you're anywhere. going to be in. So wait, I'm confused. So then if you already know that you're going to want to break up with somebody, why would you ever get in a relationship? Ask them. Because it's complicated. <laughs> it's is not it, complicated, it it's very simple. Uh -huh. Okay, okay but I think that this might be a little bit unfair, right, to, mm -hmm. to guys in the sense that we're saying that guys typically step away. Because what if the I girl is like, I'm done. Like, I it just takes don't a lot for a woman to get to a point where she's done. Something must, he must not be paying her any attention again, which is already, in my opinion, nearing towards the end. He must not be paying her any attention. He may not be touching her. He may not be... Performing touching. his duties. Yes. Hey, <laughs> performance. Touching. Okay. Performance assurance. Nothing. There's just nothing is happening. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, and um, like he had mentioned, there's a lot of girls out there. There's a lot of guys out there. So there's mm -hmm. some girls that, depending on what stage you are at in your life, you don't mm -hmm. want to waste your time. If you're looking for 
a genuine relationship and that's not what you're getting, of course you're going to go and look for the genuine relationship you okay. seek. If you're looking for a husband and somebody is showing you all the signs of a player, a playboy, a Yoruba demon, whatever they are calling them these days, then obviously you're going to go and find somebody. Okay. A Oh, and then speaking on that though, like when you're getting all of these signs, are there any general deal breakers in relationships that, that cause relationships to end? A lot of times relationships start before you even get to know the person. Exactly. Um, but of course a relationship is just, you know. That is a connecting. very good point. A lot yeah. of people get into relationship. Okay, so the real mm -hmm. issue that society faces, I think, right. is that people date to get to know each other as opposed right. to getting to know each other before dating. That's number one. But what is dating? The second, I'll be done. The <laughs> second thing is um, honesty, right? Okay. Everybody's putting on their best face. The only issue with pretending is that you actually have to do what you're claiming you do. So if a guy meets you and you're, you're claiming you go to fellowship on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursday, Friday, when he's dating you, you better be that same girl. Still doing because that. after a while, it's going to be like, this is not the person he fell in love with. If you're a guy and okay. I meet you and you're making me breakfast like every two weeks or every week or whatever it is, and you know, you're buying me flowers every three days, you better keep buying those flowers. Okay, so how do you now, are there steps to breaking up? Are there proper steps to uncoupling? Absolutely. To be honest, I think that women are talkers in the sense that we want to talk about it. We want the guy to just come out mm -hmm. and let us know. A guy will yeah. know in his mind that he has finished dating you and he won't tell you. He will continue to hang around you. You can call him if you like, but he's no longer calling at that 7 p.m. He was calling. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He lets it fade out. And I don't know. I don't even think that men are cowards. I think they just can't. I, I, are they cowards or they just can't so be bothered to So men will tell you that it's over. They'll just stop picking up Something really calls. drastic oh, has guys, to happen for it. Ladies. I mean, if he catches you in bed with somebody else, you don't need a fortune teller to tell you that the relationship is oh, probably over. But what if it's not over, it? even if he's in bed like, with someone they, else? Do they plan <laughs> things? I think, I honestly, I've seen guys who will talk to a, a guy to come and chase you to see if you're... Just to break up with you? There are, like, there are crazy people in this world and there are a lot of guys like that, like just for oh fun. Meaning for me that you never even possibly liked the girl in the beginning because if you really love somebody, you wouldn't want someone else, you know, hitting her. I, ideally not. Exactly. No, I'm, 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 I'm not here to defend anyone. I'm you're about to be because slammed here. All I can say really quickly is, first of all, there are different types of men, just as there are Very different, different types of women. Of course. You know? But there is reality that a lot of times you don't want to uncouple in such a brazen, damaging fashion, like, mm -hmm. baby, it's over. Okay. I'm not in love with you anymore. That's, come on, that's a little too dramatic. Okay, so can I just leave you a sticky note that says it's over? Absolutely not. That's against the rules. Dad, I, I mean, smart one. completely <laughs> against. First, rule number one: Do not break up over the phone. It is wrong. Or via text message. Rule number mm. two: Do not break up suddenly. <laughs> yeah, it's a process. I mean, I believe in breaking up suddenly. I believe it. You just rip up the bandage. Against the rules, you have to take your time. It took time to get together. Mm -hmm. So it has to take time sweet. to uncouple. Wait, idiot, why do you think that you should just get it over with? Because, because I'm just the kind of person that I would rather somebody saves me the pain and the time. I'm very time conscious and I would rather be doing other things <laughs> than it. cooking, investing my time in somebody that already knows it's not going anywhere. The same way, when I don't like somebody anymore, mm -hmm. everything about them probably will irritate me. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you calling me baby and all these things. When I know that me, I already checked out. Like I'm already on the next box. The next boss. I what steps do you suggest that somebody do when they want to break up? How should somebody break up? Creative ways? Should they now? Here's here's a um, there's actually a pick website. A fight. Oh, pick a fight. Yeah, of course. Just randomly. Pick a fight and have them handle it really badly and then be like, I thought you were the one. <laughs> so pick a fight, make them think that it's their fault, yeah, it's that they did something wrong. It's the, it's it's the so number twisted. one trick yeah, it in is the twisted. book. And, and I think Everybody one, does that. <laughs> one thing that, that people definitely do is look for an opportunity Ex for a fight. Maybe you don't actually pick it up, but you just look for an opportunity. But frankly speaking, I don't think that's necessary. Mm -hmm. I think it's what it is uh, if people do that. But I think ultimately... Sometimes it's necessary. You break up with some people, they don't want to go. <laughs> well, that's when you start blocking. But yeah. I think one of the things that I would say is really part of it all is 
just begin to backtrack a little bit. Same way, like I said, if the person's not calling you as much, it's a conversation. Yeah. Call less. Um, Wait, you should call less, less as well? Or well? You're the individual who's trying who's to break up. Okay, okay, so okay. Call, less. call less. Okay. See the person less. Detach slowly. Mm. In essence, disappear slowly and just disappear, ultimately. Um, now, so if you I guys know, had like a date scheduled for like next week, just not show up to your date? No, you've got, you've got to stay polite. Like, oh Here's man, another thing. I have you've class. Got, <laughs> rule, <laughs> who? Exactly, rule number I'm three. It could be a plan with yourself. You've got a meeting with yourself. It's a retreat, whatever. To know we're lying. No, no, it's, it's no, you may you not be. <laughs> well, look, it's not, it's not a lie if you've set an appointment with yourself, is it? Perhaps it is, but you could <laughs> always set up an appointment with your cousin, whatever. But the point is, ultimately, you've got to be straightforward in some sense. Okay. Um, but you've got to be, you've got to be resolute. Okay. Well, this is a, a really interesting point that I mm-hmm. we kind of brought up earlier in the mm-hmm. show. But um, is breaking up to make up ever a good idea? Should you ever break up to make up? You break up. You know, you're like, I don't want it. And like a year later, oh, you've really grown. You're now, you know, you've changed. So they say, should you ever break up just to get right back to where you were? Why not? If you're in love, you don't have a choice. <laughs> <It is. laughs> if you're in love, in fact, the whole idea of breaking up is to make up later. I'm yes. not quite sure. I thought, I, think, if, I thought if you break up, that means you don't want it. Uh, somebody broke up. Unless it's amicable. If somebody is hot, the one that is hot, that is still in love, mm. is looking forward to making up. Leave story. Okay. So the answer is yes, you can break up to make up. In fact, look forward to it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Is, that, is it a very good Absolutely. idea to break up very to make up? Very thirsty. Idea is warming up. I know. I feel like she's been in the situation before. What situation? Should you ever <laughs> break up, Edia? You're on the court. You're you're on trial right now. Mm. Should you ever break up to make up? There are instances, but not if you've broken up for too long, in my opinion. And it also depends on why we broke up. So I can't break up because Tosin mm. cheated on me. I didn't cheat on you. And then no. get <laughs> and I'm then get right back guy. to where we were. Mm. Because most likely, you know, people grow, people change. I feel like I'm not the same person that I was last year. Oh, my God. Yes, we grew. And I feel like you're not the same person that you were two years ago. We grew apart. So so we can grow together. (laughs) It is like, I'm in a really serious relationship right now. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, But breaking up to make up is nice in the sense of, if it's like over the weekend and you have a huge fight mm. and then he comes back and knocks on the door and he's like, I'm sorry, baby. And mm. you're like, I'm sorry too. Ooh. And then, and then you get back it together. goes down that weekend. But not if there's like a year, no. two years, mm. you should just be done with That's that. That's the yeah. best kind. No, especially if like there was like abuse what or abuse? anything was, involved in the breakup. Enough. So I'm, th- I'm just saying reason and mm-hmm. then time. I mm-hmm. don't, I, I'm just not about the whole one year So thing. you don't think people really change like that? I think I'm people ch- people change, but they grow. And then I I guess let me explain. If I broke up with you when we were eighteen, and then I meet you when we're like twenty five, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Why are you cheesing? Anyway, because I'm with you. Are, he might not be a childish eighteen year old boy anymore. Oh, he might be so. he might yeah. be a man. He might have assurance. Might have a few things that, going on. That's what right? we're talking about. But. Most of the time, I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but you look back at some people that you liked a year ago or two years <laughs> and you're like, like there's no that, that was a mistake. Yeah. What, whatever they're even doing. First, you're like, ew. Yeah. Then you now find out they're even more childish. Or you, because uh, you've grown so much, hopefully the person in question grows. Okay. Um, you've grown so much, you realize that it was a good idea to Just have broken. Mm-hmm. So I feel like when people are always doing the whole one year, two years later, they're always sleeping together, or whatever. They are addicted to their own bs two mm. of them mm-hmm. i don't feel like they're really growing or changing or anything that's my opinion okay all right some guys i'm um, going to relationship for fun uh some i just say maybe they'll be pushing this person for some time they like the person and um, the person is not really giving them attention maybe somebody say ah uh, uh, you know guys now they will say uh me i don't enter you know uh, so this one want to try let me just try. I've even I have had a scenario whereby 
uh, a friend of mine told me that there was this guy that actually converted to a, uh, uh, a Christian just because he wants to have fun with a girl. So some of them, most of them, go into relationship because of fun. Look, um, actually, the right way to break up with your spouse or your girlfriend or your wife or anybody you're with, I think it's text message actually. I text message, yes, yes. Because um, because me, I'm actually, I'm actually very shy in, in saying things that 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 hurts someone actually. So so how I wouldn't I wouldn't want to see the face being sad or or the person being sad. Yeah, it's somehow. So I do text message actually. The worst way to break up with somebody is to send a message because you don't know the state of mind of that person at that state time and for you to just send a message ah someone can even die like so yes can we, someone can just faint like for you especially for someone that have been in a relationship for many years and for a long period of time you can't just send the text message to call it off man it's not healthy no i think the best way is to um, actually see the person and because uh, if you send a text message to that person it's more or less like uh, you don't value that person from the start so when you Sit, call the person, you sit with the person, you talk one on one. He asks you or she asks you, well, why are you breaking up with me? What's the problem? What have I done wrong? In case I'm going into another relationship so that I can amend. So that that same mistake that happened in this one won't happen in the other one. Well, there's no right way. What God created is that once you're up to the age of getting married, go look for a wife. Pray to God and God will give you a wife. This issue of breaking up is the things of the devil. There's nothing like breaking up in the Bible. For me, I think the best way to break up in a relationship is through attitude. Because if you if you say it directly you know, with one on one, it can be heartbroken. As in seriously heartbroken, as in you are not interested in the relationship anymore. You can just say through attitude, gradually, gradually, gradually. And through the attitude, the lady will like or maybe the man or the guy will have known that this person is not more interested in me. I think that is the best way to show as in to break up in a relationship and through that way you can still continue as friends and there won't be any enemy or any mm, like something like bad intention to each other okay to me the right way to break up is just for you to call the guy and probably you guys sit out and try to tell him what exactly he's doing that he didn't like or just tell him your reason for breaking up rather than just calling him on phone it's better you call him sit him down and tell him these are the things i see in you that we can't go further with this, okay? But to me, if it's ready to change, we can continue. Um, to round up the conversation, because it's yeah. been really interesting, I've learned a lot about, I guess I've, I've learned that I'm really naive when it comes to these things. Because I'm like, yeah, let's just go on a break. Like, let's refresh, you know? Let's, oh my God. let's work on each other separately so that we're better together. You know, I don't know. I, no, I, I was like, found someone else. Edie is like, nope, I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, what are do's and don'ts for breaking up? Um, a lot of people say that you shouldn't break up via text message. I've broken up via text message. I'm, I mean, I'm fine with it. Um, Very insensitive. No, I'm not insensitive. Well, I'm, no, I want to know why you did that. Why did you think that that was the best way for you to do it? Because I think that I've met a lot of people that just don't know when no is no. Like you tell them you don't want to break up anymore and maybe they still want to be in the relationship and they're still trying to impress you or pushing and pushing and pushing mm. and me I'm the kind of person that before I get to a point where I say I'm done like I have been watching and tolerating for a long time so I would never just wake up and be done mm. it's something that has been ongoing like the person has probably not changed the few times I spoke to them mm. so if I've tried breaking up with you and you're not listening I will send you a text and if you keep calling after that I will not pick your calls because uh. yeah because so then, short. Yeah. Okay, I, I can definitely I not understand why you life. would do it like that because, like you said, there are some people that just don't, they're not getting they just these don't little get hints, it. Yeah. like the subtle hints. No, I'm even things. saying like they don't get it when you tell the person, Tola tells Tosin, hey, this can't work, blah, blah, blah. And Tosin's still like, oh, why? Yeah. Yeah. why? Why? So can't then, so just text message, yeah. boom, have it out there. Okay. Um, what about you, Tosin? I think it's super insensitive to break up. Um, no, like with, your do's and don'ts that. of breakups. One do, absolutely. Mm -hmm is take it slow. It's very mm, important. Mm -hmm. Another do, be sensitive. Okay. Three, speak with other languages than talk. Okay. As well as talk. As well as talk, right? Yeah, as well as talk. Okay, and then, and what's your don't? Do not break over 
do not break up over the phone. Mm -hmm. Do not break over by text message. And regardless of how much they tell you to just rip off the band-aid, do rip it. not. <laughs> okay, so I guess for me, my do is, because of the world that we live in, do pray about it before you do it because okay. there are so many people that take things the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And we hear of all these stories of like, girls that have been killed because their boyfriends, you know, just wouldn't Refused let them go, let them you know? Go. So I'm always, like, just definitely pray about it, mm -hmm. and not just for your own sanity, but for the other person's but sanity. But if you pray about it, and then you go and break up with my ex.com, he could yeah, still shoot you. Still shoot, yeah, so <laughs> you have to, you don't do that. And then, you touched on something that I think is, is worth talking about really quickly, and you didn't say it that way, but mm. I, I figured it's worth it talking about abusive relationships. Mm -hmm. The critical rule that I think a lot of women unfortunately do not know is if you are in a physically abusive relationship rip off that band-aid thank in the you i was going to say that earlier fashion necessary take security precautions as necessary involve your family involve everyone if you have to involve the law or bodyguards or anybody or some yeah. thugs to beat them up not, not necessary the thugs, but that's going to start something yeah <laughs> no, most yeah. importantly please rip off that band-aid and call it a Day. Well, I think that's a positive note to kind of end things on. Thank you guys so much thank you, for Carla, being for having us. on. Of thank course. you very much. And yeah. thank you guys at home, as always, for watching. As always, we are always encouraging you guys to join the Indani family. Come <laughs> join us. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Indani TV and use the hashtag Indani Real Talk. Comment below. I want to know what are your breakup experiences? What has worked for you in the past? What hasn't worked for you? What is the number one go-to line that you, you use when you're trying to break up with somebody else? Well, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.